What is going on guys, Alex here and welcome to another video. Welcome to episode two of the Shopify challenge series. Now, if you remember in the previous episode, I covered my exact product research blueprint and found about five potential winning products. Now, what we're gonna do is go ahead and choose one of those products to sell throughout this challenge. Now, I advise not to just completely copy the product. What I advise to do is take the strategies with regards to the Facebook ads, the store creation, and the product research and apply that to your own product and store for the best results because probably this is gonna get thousands of views and if there's thousands of people all selling the same product, then obviously you're not all gonna succeed. So for best results, definitely choose your own product following the strategies I've outlined and apply the Facebook ad strategies that I'm gonna teach throughout this challenge. Now, throughout this episode, I'm gonna be covering the best apps that you should have installed, how to create and brand a one product store to maximize your conversion rate and also your average order value, and also how to write really, really good product subscriptions that actually convert really, really well. So if you're new here and you wanna know when the next episode launches, remember to smash that subscribe button with the notification bells turned on, and also if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and let's get into today's content. Okay, so you're probably wondering what product am I gonna be selling throughout this challenge? So if you remember to the previous episode, I've found about five potential winning products. Now the product that I've chose to take forward and test is the toe separator or foot um, product that you can see in the image here. Now, there's a few different reasons I've chosen this product. Number one is that it's a relatively low risk product. It, nothing can go really wrong. It can't break in the post. It's also a high margin product with sales for less than $2 on AliExpress. And if I bundle this product together, I can get definitely sell it for $20 to $30 for a package deal of multiple of the same item. And finally, it's not that oversaturated yet. Um, there's a few people selling it, however, not many people are marketing it well. And with a great video ad and a great product description with a branded store that I'm gonna cover throughout this video, you could easily sell this product really, really well. And there's also a huge market for this product because so many people in the world suffer from things like foot pain and cramp and stuff in their foot. And that product serves to solve that problem. So that's our selling point um, for this product. And that's what I'm gonna be pitching in my product descriptions and everything throughout this challenge to really sell this product well with Facebook ads. So now we're gonna go ahead into my laptop and build a one product store around this product and look at all the apps and stuff that you need to have installed in order to sell this product really, really well. Okay, so once you've opened your store, there's a few little settings that you need to tweak in order to get everything set up properly. So firstly, you wanna go in there and change your store's currency to US dollars because it's the most globally recognized currency and it will increase conversion rates. Secondly, you wanna go in and amend the shipping settings because when you first create a new store, so if you're creating a new one product store, the default shipping will be around about 15 pounds, um, as you can see here, which obviously you don't wanna be charging that much for shipping because it's gonna massively reduce your conversion rate. So set it to an amount that you think's right for your store and your products. And finally, you just wanna go and generate the legal pages. Um, it's automatically done by Shopify. Generate them, then we can use these as our pages within our terms and conditions and stuff on our store later on. Okay, so once you've done all these things, um, we're ready now to go in and look at the apps that we need to have installed um, for our store. Then we can go into actually creating and branding our one product store ready to start selling this product. Okay, so quickly, before we um, go into talk about what apps we're gonna need, what we're gonna do is select our theme here. So what I'm gonna do is go onto the Shopify store theme. Um, store here and then what you want to do is go to collections here and ideally you want one um, if you're building one product store you want a um, layout which is good for small inventory so I go to this section here and there's quite a few different ones you can choose for now most of them are paid so if you're just getting started out or you haven't validated your product yet um, you're just starting to get your first sales then I'd advise to go for a th free theme um, because you don't want to spend loads of money on a theme and then the product not work so definitely look for free themes now there's a good one here called narrative um, which is free and there's also one here called minimal which is free which is another good one however the one i like is the debut theme it's really really good for one product stores and it converts really really well especially when we can combine it with the apps that we're going to talk about in a minute so if we just view the demo here you'll be able to see what kind of layout it is as you can see it's a really really nice looking theme now if we just check out the product pages here it's quite a nice layout obviously this is very minimal here we'll add in some apps and we'll make the product descriptions and everything really really good and i'll show you exactly how to do that in a minute 
Okay, so once you've selected your theme, we're now ready to install some apps on your store. So firstly, you want an order fulfillment app. Now, if you're just getting started or you're just testing a product, then definitely Oberlo is the best option because it's really, really cheap and it's actually free um, when you first get started. So you need an app like this in order to get the products onto your store from your supplier on AliExpress. And then the other three apps that I have here, these are used to increase conversion rates as well as average order value. So the first two here, Luke's reviews have spoken about them before you need a review app and the best one by far is Luke's reviews because they have really good image reviews and you can have as many reviews as you want and obviously that's going to increase your conversion rates this app here also massively increases your conversion rates it's called ultimate sticky add to cart by conversion bear now now an app like this massively increased conversion rates on um, your store especially for mobile devices now 90% of your traffic will probably be on mobile so having a sticky add to cart button massively increases the chance that your customer adds to cart and then progresses through the funnel and makes a purchase so I'm going to show you exactly how to install this properly in a minute when we go to build our product page and making it really really high converting and then finally we've got discounted pricing by booster apps this enables you to sell more of the same product at a discounted price and you can apply this to all your products and it automatically applies the discounts there for you. Now I've spoke about these before, they're really, really good um, and it will massively increase your average order value, especially for certain types of products which customers are likely to buy more and more than one of the same products. And there's just one more app that I strongly advise to have installed and this is PayPal Tracking Info Populators. And this app is absolutely vital if you're selling using PayPal because it will automatically update your shipping info within your PayPal account so your customers know exactly where their orders are. And if they file a dispute, then you have all that evidence that the order's been shipped in there already. So it's a really, really important app, especially as you start to bring in sales to your store. So I strongly advise to have this app installed as well. Now it can't be found within the Shopify store. Um, you have to go direct to the website and you can just add it here for free um, to your Shopify store. So now let's go ahead and build our product page and make a really, really high converting product description combined with these apps here to really be able to sell this product really, really well. Okay, so I've gone ahead and built a pretty basic product page so far and installed some of the apps that we spoke about earlier. So as you can see, here's the product page here. I've got a few images in here. I've got a nice big title um, for the product. And then I've got a discount here. So I'm selling it for 10 so obviously that's really cheap so it's super important that we try and get our average order value up and it's super easy with a product like this because it's kind of like a wear and tear consumable product where people are going to need more than one um, in order to be able to use it for a long period of time so we really need to pitch that in our product description in order to get our average order value up so if we just scroll down here, as you can see, we've got our discounted pricing app here. So two, if the customer buys two or more, they get 10% off, three or more, 20% off, or four or more, 30% off. So that's really going to incentivize them to buy more and more of the product, and that's what we want so we can get our AOV as high as possible. If we can get our average order value up for a product like this, because it's so cheap on AliExpress, the profit margins will be insane, and you'll easily be able to scale it with Facebook ads. But without trying to increase your average order value, it's just going to be really, really hard and not worthwhile. So obviously I haven't done anything to the product description yet. We're going to go through and craft a really good product description so it converts really well. Cover that in a minute. And then as you can see down here, we've got lots and lots of five-star reviews with the images and stuff with the customers actually using the product. So image reviews like this convert really, really well where the customers are actually using the product that um, your customer is going to be purchasing. So it adds a lot of social proof and value to your store. So that's kind of all you need. And then down here, you just want to make sure that you've got all your footer information nicely in there. So your about us page, your contact us page, your FAQ, um, your shipping and returns and terms and conditions, because all of these are kind of like layers of friction for your customer converting into a buyer, because especially when they come onto an unknown store, they're going to be thinking like, can I contact this store or what's the shipping and returns policies and things like that. So if you have this nicely displayed on the product page where they can easily review this information, you're going to massively increase your conversion rates as opposed to not having this information available and leaving the customers thinking, is this store a scam? So just make sure you've got all them in there like that, nice and neatly at the bottom of your product page. So now I'm going to go ahead and install the sticky add to cart button. So as the customer scrolls like this the add to cart button will remain here um, so they can easily click and progress through the funnel 
Okay, so now I'm gonna add in my sticky add to cart button. Now the reason why I love the sticky add to cart button by Conversion Bear so much is that there's so many different options that you can choose. You can change the color, you can change the layout, and you can also add some scarcity to your add to cart button. I'll show you exactly how to set it all up now and how I do it for my stores. So what I do is just click enable here just so it shows up on your store. And then as you can see, you'll have a bar like this across the bottom. Now, you obviously, you want to make the colors so they're congruent with the rest of your store and your theme because obviously it'll look a bit spammy if it's all in different colors. So with this app, you can change pretty much everything about the bar, which will be at the bottom of the product page. So firstly, rather than go straight to checkout, I do go to cart page. Buy now is okay um, for the button. You want to show on both desktop and mobile. So click both there. And then you want to show after about 10% of the scroll. So normally that's when the customer will scroll past your normal add to cart button. And then this will show and obviously be there ready for them to press with their finger and obviously will increase conversion rates. Now I prefer the bar position at the bottom of the page. It's much easier to click. Um, it's more user friendly that way. So I leave that all the same. Now with regards to the colors for this, um, I like this color here, but obviously I want my button color to be the same as my add to cart button on my store. So we've got a green add to cart button. So I'll put that as green there. Then what I'm going to do is just copy and paste this code here. And then you want to leave all your variants and stuff in here because obviously if there is different types of the products, different colors and stuff, you want the customer to be able to choose those different variants from the bar rather than having to scroll back up um, to where your normal variants are. Now if we just scroll down to where the real-time urgency um, thing is, you want to basically just make sure it's the same color as your buy now button just so it looks a bit neater and more like congruent with the rest of your theme. So if we just click save here okay so now we're going to go ahead and write the product description for this product here now what you want to do is remove the default aliexpress product description because you don't just want a list of features you want to really talk about how the product adds value to the customer and really think about your customers needs in relation to the product and really pinpoint how your product solves those needs and wants so firstly you want to start off your product description with a big bold heading like this one here so you want to make it a bit bigger put it as like heading three or something like that and then make it bold as well and you can also change the color so it fits the rest of your theme and it's congruent with the rest of the colors of your buttons and so forth just so it stands out when people scroll through their phone so it makes them want to stop and obviously read the product description if you just got like one giant paragraph of text they're not just going to stop and read it you really want to have like headings and stuff and bullet points so they actually see and read what's in the description then what you want to do is ask some common questions that the customers have probably got problems with. So things like, do you often get cramp at the bottom of your feet? Or does this affect your daily life in a negative way? Or did you wish there was a cheap and easy solution for this? Because all these questions are probably going through the customer's mind. So if you're asking these within the product description, they're much more likely to trust you and believe that your product can solve their problems that they're having. Then I'm just going to add like a quick sentence saying, after thorough research, we've engineered the perfect product to solve all of these questions. And you can just um, bold that out as well, just so it stands out and it mixes it up. So it's not all the same um, color and everything throughout the description. So then I'd like to list some bullet points. So I'll say introducing the ultimate foot pain reliever, the cheapest, easiest and most effective foot pain reliever on the market today. So things like durable, flexible, strong, immediately effective, anything that's going like, to add value um, for the customer include within your bullet points. You don't want to list like features or the materials or anything like that. You really want to list um, how the product adds value to the customer. Then here I'm incentivizing um, the customers to buy more than one unit because obviously it's a low, very low ticket item. We need them to buy more than one. Um, so I've put, in fact, 92% of our customers purchase more than one unit to ensure they're always resistant to foot pain. So they might want to buy more for family and friends who also suffer. So if you can include a sentence like this, it's going to massively increase the chances that they go and buy more of the same product. And that's exactly what we want to get our average order value up. And down here, I've just added um, a bit of scarcity, so we can just highlight that there. Um, so just please note, we currently have very limited stock available. I'll just highlight that there. And um, we expect to sell out within the next few days. Um, so obviously, this will increase the chances that they make the impulse purchase now and rather than wait. Um, so definitely include something like this within your product description. Include it at the bottom because you don't want to have it at the top. The top should all be about the value that you're going to be giving to the customer through the product. And then at the bottom, you want to try to increase your average order value. Also include scarcity and things like that. Because if you have it at the top, you, you're probably going to be too hard Sally straight away. You need to do it at the bottom um, once the customer's on edge on whether or not to make the purchase. And then finally at the bottom, you can put something like 
but does our opinion really matter though it's our customers opinion that we care about most check out our amazing testimonials from our happy customers below um, and then obviously below that you're going to have all of the reviews that you've got um, image reviews from aliexpress five star reviews with good english by this point the customer is going to really trust your store they're going to really see the value that your product has and then finally you just want to break up some of this text with some images of your product and also some gifs so some moving images just just so it breaks it up a bit adds some color and it's not just all text and it keeps it more interesting for the customer to read and also just one thing to know obviously the price here is $9.99 which is really low ticket so I've added $5 for shipping definitely if you've got a low ticket item charge shipping because it will increase your average order value and it will also increase the chances of them purchasing more than one of the same item and that's exactly what we need them to do okay so now we've completely finished the product description we got all our apps installed so our product page is looking pretty good now and it's probably ready to go ahead and start testing this product test loads of different ad sets and stuff with Facebook ads so we we'll just take a quick look at the product page here um, as you can see we've got the um, title here and um, discounted price we've got our star reviews there we've got a nice big green add to cart button and we've got our discounted pricing here to incentivize the customer to buy more of one product and as you can see down here we've got our sticky add to cart button by conversion bear we've also got a cheeky bit of urgency here by saying only 12 units left in stock and then a countdown timer here now now a little bit of urgency like this um, is good it's not like spammy or anything like that it's definitely better than having one of those big bulky apps on your product page having it here next to the button down here works really really well and, and will massively increase click-through rate throughout the funnel um, so then we've got a nice gif here as well which obviously engages the customer as they're scrolling the product page and then we've got some questions here um, to basically just pinpoint what the problem um, the customer has and then we've got some more information here talking about the value that the product has for the customer a nice diagram here um, and then we're trying to increase the average order value here by saying 92% of customers buy more than one and then we've got some more um, urgency here by saying there's limited stock available so that works well with this bit here and then finally as the customer scrolls throughout the product page and then and they're on the edge of making the purchase they then come on to all the customer reviews so we're talking about how we've got loads of testimonials and stuff and then I'll come on to lots and lots of image five star image reviews which obviously is going to then take them over the edge and then they can click this button here and progress throughout the funnel and make the purchase so this is kind of how you want to have your product page and then down here um, we've got a nice footer as well with all the um, trust signals like your FAQ contact us um, shipping and returns and so forth for if the customer has any queries um, so this is kind of how you want to have your product page you don't need to have massive massive product pages especially when the products are relatively low ticket item keep it nice and simple like this straight to the point um, make it engaging and product pages like this convert really really well okay so that is it for today guys i hope you've enjoyed today's video now we've found the product created a one product store around that product now we're going to go ahead and test and launch it with facebook ads in the next episode then we're going to go ahead and look at the results and everything, analyze all the ad sets and stuff so you know exactly how to test a product so make sure you subscribe with that notification bell on and i'll see you very soon in the next episode